number one Audubon was matched up with Harris Lake Park Wolves last Friday night in what was supposed to be a good test for the Wheelers. I came from the mud, dirt on my hands, strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand, oh I've been running from the law. Keep watching as we take this time to thank our sponsors, Roselle Mutual Insurance, McFarland Clinic, and Mackey Motors. The fireworks happen early and often as Caden Smith started the barrage of the Wheeler's offense. It was just a few possessions later that Harris Lake Park would strike, but a block extra point would keep the Wheelers in the lead. It was yet again Caden Smith that would find the end zone for the red and white, putting the Wheelers up another score. A Harris Lake Park touchdown would be called back on a fourth down due to a hold and the momentum shift would affect the Wolves, costing them a possession and inevitably another Wheeler touchdown again by Caden Smith. The Wolves weren't bowing down quite yet as they would strike late before half, cutting down the Wheeler lead. The Wolves' energy wouldn't last long as Jackson Jensen would make an insane grab, putting Audubon up big before half. The second half would follow the same trend as the first, and a pick six by Ethan Clucky would seal the deal, leading the Wheelers to a first-round playoff victory and proving to the state that they are the team not to be messed with. Hey, now, every round it gets a little tougher, okay? We got Cam coming here next week. We know it, guys. We know who it is. We have to have our best week of practice. We have to have our best week of film session. It's got to be every single day the most focused. Okay, weight room, we gotta get after in the morning, okay? We got one last game at home. One last game at home. Here we go, We lose our three. One, two, three. <laughs> Although they were dominant in round one, Audubon will be faced with a hefty task in round two, the Cam Cougars. The Cougars have battled the Wheelers already this year, losing a heartbreaker to Audubon in week nine by just three points. With two area teams left in the hunt for a dome appearance, we shift our focus next week to Van Meter, Iowa, where the number one team in 1A will square off with the South Central Calhoun Titans in what should be a classic. Thank you for following us this year and stay tuned for more high school football coverage.